Hi guys, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, in the vlog, I want to share with you a few things. Um, this week has gone haywire as far as getting out my vlog on time. Um, I managed one before this. Um, there should have been two. And uh, I am so sorry for that, but <laughs> life interrupts. Uh, once again, um, I am trying my hardest to uh, be more consistent. Uh, know that that is where my heart is. That's where I'm aiming for. Um, anyway, today I wanted to share with you that um, we just got back. It's 6.30? No, 7 o'clock at night. And uh, we just got back from North Bay again. Uh, where we went to Valley Village, we went uh, to Long and McQuaid um, to deal with some business there. Hubby uh, got a another amp, so if you are into um, musical gear, uh, you could ch check out his channel, Kevy's RC and Music, and uh, he'll have a a video up for you soon on that one. Uh, anyway, um, today for my channel, um, I have a new guitar. <laughs> Hubby bought me a new acoustic guitar. <coughs> um, I have been playing my electric for a couple of weeks now, every day for half an hour a day, and um, doing fairly well with it. And um, he offered to buy me this guitar. It is a Mitchell acoustic electric. It has a, a single cutaway, which means you can reach the um, the lower frets here easier. Um, then not being a cutaway, a, a dreadnought style would end you here and you couldn't get down to here um, for the frets, but with a cutaway you can. You can reach literally every fret on a cutaway. Um, this is uh, a Mitchell. It's called a Mitchell uh, guitar and it is a new brand that Long and McQuaid are trying out to see how popular it will become, etc. Uh, Mitchell has been around since 1986, which is 36 years already. Um, and this, believe it or not, is a baseline guitar um, for price point. And um, I, I am saying it, it, it would serve just about anybody that wants a, a, a budget guitar. Uh, this one is model 0120CESB. It's in the title. Um, it has a spruce top with vintage sunburst finish that provides classic looks. Uh, it's got mahogany back sides for outstanding warmth. The neck is mahogany as well. The fingerboard is Jatoba. It is unfinished. Okay, the, the fingerboard is unfinished. Um, there are some people in reviews that have said they've oiled the fretboard when they changed the strings. And um, that would not be a bad idea. Uh, just to protect it, uh, <laughs> but um, it has uh, scalloped X bracing, offering improved tone and resonance, um, thinner finish for better projection, active preamp with three band EQ and built in tuner, and it has beautiful bound body and fingerboard. That's this cream colored strip right here around the the edges of the guitar and the fingerboard totally here. Um, yeah, it is 
it is a really nice sounding guitar. I like it. Okay. Um, this is on sale currently at Long and McQuaid. Okay. In Canada, this is Canadian dollars. We got it for $225 on sale. And that's $100 off of the uh, standard price, which is $325, plus tax, of course. Um, my husband has already uh, given me a strap pin here on the heel of the guitar. There was no top strap pin. And uh, he has replaced what was a black plastic strap pin on the, on the bottom with a matching one in silver. It is an active pickup. Um, there is a 9 volt battery that hides behind this door here by the uh, jack uh, input. There we go. And it's a uh, 9 volt. Okay, it goes in there. You need a little tray and you just click it in and there you go. Okay, so um, this this is a really nice sounding guitar. Um, and this is the factory string still, of course. Uh, it's brand new, so I don't need to change them quite yet. Uh, but I have spent an hour on this last night. Um, the first night I brought it home was like, last night it was like, wow. So I spent an hour on it, and my fingers are hurting. The um, acoustic does need uh, a little more pressure on the strings to, to make a sound proper. It has sealed um, high-ratio tuners for tuning stability. So these are, are fairly decent for the price point, like seriously. So... Um, so far I'm very happy with it and um, hubby asked if I would like it we we played it I played it a bit in the store and uh, he said it's a very nice guitar um, to start out with and I am just starting I have my electric I've been playing that for half an hour a night for the last 14 days. I have 16 more days to um, complete my little competition <laughs> challenge with um, hubby. He's He's got a pair of electric guitar earrings for me. Should I complete 30, 30 minutes a day for 30 days solid? So I have 16 more days to do for those earrings. And then, of course, I'm going to sport them a lot after I, I get them. But um, anyway, I will give you a quick demonstration on how this sounds. Um, I, I have been practicing the blues uh, to start with. And uh, here we go. Whatever, whatever way to end that, I don't know yet, but um, it is a very nice sounding, very nice sounding guitar. Um, it has the built-in tuner. I'm still wrestling with it. I'm used to using a snark uh, that you clip onto the headstock. It is nice to have it on the uh, guitar itself, and it lights up. 
and it's blue if it's below or um, red if it's too much. Um, it has bass, mid, and treble, and it has a phase button, uh, which I am told that corrects feedback. Um, should you plug it in and you don't like the sound and it's it's too uh, feedbacking, uh, you hit the phase switch and that should clear it up. It has a light that uh, is labeled LB, which is low battery. So you know when to switch your battery down here on the bottom. And it has a volume uh, adjustment dial. And um, that I'm told is basically gain. So I am learning. <laughs> I am learning how to how to play um, both electric and acoustic at the same time. I'm supposed to be splitting my time between the two of them now. And one reason um, Hubby said he would buy me this is because with the electric, I always have to plug in. Uh, it's not a, a, an option it, to, to hear it properly, etc. and to play it. I need to plug it into my little um, Boss Katana and this way with the acoustic I can either plug it in or not I can play it just outside in fresh air and still practice um, but I have the option to plug it in if I want to now I can't plug it into my Boss Katana I will need an acoustic amp for this guitar um, because a regular electric guitar amp will not do. Um, I'll blow the amp, I'll <laughs> hurt the guitar, I'll do something major. So I'm not in a hurry to plug this one in since I do have the electric and the ability to plug it in. I am simply going to enjoy this as an uh, acoustic for now uh, with the ability to plug it in later if I want. So, um, anyway, he says I'm doing really well so far, and he does not uh, BS his students. So, uh, uh, him buying me this guitar uh, speaks volumes to me. So, um, I am this, I think this is the, the farthest I've ever come with a guitar, and I'm looking forward to learning songs and how to do things better and better all the time so um yeah <laughs> i told you i wouldn't do music all the time but i had to show you this one um i i am so far i am loving this guitar um i will have the link in the description box below to this guitar on Long and McQuaid's website and um, you can check for a store near you whether they have one in stock apparently there's tons of them around as I said this is a new offering for Long and McQuaid they're just testing out the waters and see how well it's going to be received before they expand maybe on other um, guitars and things um, I have ordered a new strap for it on Amazon. That's supposed to be here Tuesday. Um, so I am really looking forward to spending some more time with this. Um, what else can I tell you? I have been having a lot more headaches lately. That is also impacting my ability to upload on channel. Um, what else can I tell you? <laughs> Not a lot else. Um, I've been doing a lot of paperwork and I've been working on my book. And of course housekeeping, like things I have to get done here and in, in the course of living. Um, the weather has been up and down as usual. Um, it rains and it's sunny and rains and it's sunny and it's 
it's one of those things. It's just that time of year. Um, other than that, I can't think of much else to, to tell you. Um, as far as vlog is concerned, life goes on. It's the same day, different, you know, different day, same thing, basically. Um, we had a outage uh, on the Rogers Network uh, today, all day so far. And um, that has interfered a bit with the phones. Um, anybody that's got a cell phone that's on Rogers or Fido, which is a sister company to, to Rogers, um, I think Bell may be affected a bit. I don't know. But um, everywhere in North Bay, um, debit machines and stuff were down because they're all on Rogers apparently and it's not working so it's like cash only cash only on the door <laughs> so uh, we we continue to navigate life as it goes and um, there you have it that's about all I've got for you today but uh, I just wanted to share with you my new my new guitar and I told Kevy, I said, yeah, yeah, you're turning me into you. <laughs> I've got gear syndrome now. This is the second guitar. I've got electric, the, the Ibanez electric, and now I've got the Mitchell acoustic electric. And uh, there's a lot packed into this baby for, for the money. Um, I would give it a shot. Because I, I'm so far, I love the sound. Um, I love the size of the body. This is called an auditorium, and it's for people who are full dreadnought, is quite a big, thicker, you know, they're, they're bulkier, they're bigger. And for someone of my size, this is perfect, it is not as, as deep. And it is a shorter, um, shorter body. Um, normally they're big, like this, <laughs> and like that, you know. Um, so I, I am really appreciating the size of this. It makes it possible to play. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to more, more guitar playing. So, uh, thanks for watching so much, uh, and thanks for being patient with me as I adjust to this new vlogging format. It is new to me, so um, please bear with me as I adjust things and figure things out as I go, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.